Hey everyone, Raj Sahu here, back with another walkthrough. Today we're going through a home built in 2020 by Toll Brothers Homes. It's over 6,000 square feet, it has five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and it's sitting on a lot that's over one third of an acre with a beautiful view that we will definitely get back out to. Now I'm a realtor here in Central Texas, but you shouldn't always work with me, and I'll tell you why later. As soon as we get into this home, as you'll see, it has this grand entrance with this spiral staircase. And like usual, we're gonna go right out to the main living area. Now this specific home is very similar to a plan that Toll Brothers currently offers in this beautiful community called Treviso. And that plan name is called the Thornhills Plan by Toll Brothers. But if you don't wanna to wait to build your home, this home is for sale at $2.1 million. Now I do wanna give credit to the listing agent, Dave Kapoor at All City Real Estate. I appreciate Dave allowing me to put this amazing home on my channel and showcase what's possible in the gorgeous hills of Leander, Texas and in this great community called Treviso. Now we will talk about the community that we're in later on in the video. I'll even take my drone up in the air over this home and show you the beautiful hills that are out here. But what I wanna start off with is the kitchen. I love what they did here in the kitchen with the cabin overlay around the kitchen island. They have some great movement in the kitchen countertop. And then I love how the backsplash is in a chevron pattern and it ties in all the neutral colors that are here in the kitchen. Now I know you've seen the breakfast nook area that's right off of the kitchen and I got the blinds down like halfway. <laughs> I will put those blinds up and I'm excited for you to see the view that's just even here in the breakfast nook area. And we'll take a look at views from everywhere around this house. You'll even see it in the spare bedrooms upstairs. But just finishing up here in the kitchen, I like how when you look out to the main living area, that living room opens up with that fireplace. Off of the kitchen, you even have a second spiral staircase that goes up to a media room as well as the game room. And by the way, the game room upstairs has cathedral style ceilings. So a lot to see here and I'm excited to show you this home that's for sale. Now this is gonna be a pantry that's right off of the kitchen. Pretty good sized pantry, which I would say is expected at this square footage. We do have a separate area to get to the dining room but I wanna to get to the breakfast nook area because wait until you see this view that's here in the breakfast nook as well as outside in that very large patio. Now, I really shouldn't be calling this a breakfast nook area because it's very large. I would call this more of like a casual dining space. And I know it's semantics, but without furniture in here, it's difficult to sometimes imagine what these spaces can feel like. But I think you could definitely fit a dining table in there. Now, when I first walked in this home and I gave this shade a tug, I knew that it was motorized. And that's when I said, I got to put these back down and show this in the video. Imagine you have your morning cup of coffee, you just woke up, you come to your breakfast nook area, you sit down, the shades go up, and that's your view off your breakfast nook. That's incredible, and that's why I love coming out to this community called Treviso. Now, while we head outside, I'm gonna show you this patio that opens to the second story in this amazing backyard. I do wanna talk about this community, Treviso, because this is something that people call me about every single week. And I love talking about this community because of the beauty that's here. In fact, before I got to this home, I was doing a pre-drywall walk with a buyer that I have under contract just down the road from this home. And that buyer had a second floor balcony that looked out to a view like this. But here's the thing, we were walking at pre-drywall. So the home's under construction, it's a mess, nothing's pretty. And they still walked out to that second floor balcony. And when they saw the view, you can just see their eyes light up. And to see my client's eyes light up like that after months of planning and landing on that lot and then building it, and then months later getting to that walk where the home's a mess, it's under construction, and they're just so excited about that view, that is priceless. And that feeling that my buyers had when getting out to that second floor balcony is the exact feeling that I want you to have if you love views like what you're seeing here. Because I gotta tell you, these views are possible all around the Austin metro area. These hills are in the northwest quarter of Austin. They go all the way down the west and southwest side, all the way down to North San Antonio. So there are lots of opportunities 
to get beautiful homes like this with great views. And if you're asking, is it worth it? The answer is very simple. If you're loving these views in just a video format, then you have to see these views in person and then ask yourself, is it worth it? I think a lot of people find they say, yes, it's definitely worth it. And then they move here to the Austin metro area. And that's why it's such a fast growing city. Now we're gonna head back into the home and I'm gonna open up these sliding glass doors all the way because it's a stackable sliding glass door. And then I'm gonna show you how well this space opens up from the living room to the patio. And while I do this, I do wanna talk about the suburb that we're located in, which is called Leander, Texas. Now, if you Google Leander or this community Treviso, you'll see that we're around 28 miles outside of downtown. And for most people that are not familiar with cities in Texas, you might think that that's so far away from downtown. But two things I would mention. First off, cities in Texas build wide very fast because we have nothing but land around these downtown areas. We don't have to keep building vertically which is very expensive and creates a lot of congestion and traffic. Second, Austin is being built right now. A lot of our growth recently happened in the last 10 years. So we didn't grow due to the oil boom in the 70s and 80s like Dallas and Houston did. And for that reason, the suburbs around Austin are being built out in a very fun and exciting way. And to give you an example of that, I'll post an article in the description of this video that will talk about eight projects being built out or planned in the Leander and Cedar Park area, which is a neighboring suburb. Now, three of those eight projects are billion dollar developments. So while we're in this powder bathroom and we're gonna head to the primary bedroom and bathroom next, I would just wanna finish by saying, I'm not trying to hype up this area. I don't think it really needs to be hyped. I think you just need to follow what the smart money is doing, seeing these big developers, developers come in and invest so much money in these huge mixed use development projects. I think it starts to make sense that if they think this area is gonna grow, buying into a growing area can make a lot of sense both for livability as well as for future resale. Moving on, we are in the primary bedroom, which is massive. I love how it opens up with that tray ceiling. And then they have a bay window on this back wall that opens up with all these windows that have that same view that we saw when we were in the backyard. Even though this home is empty, it's not furnished, I think it's easy to imagine maybe even having like a chase back here, something that would keep the space open so you can just plop on this chase, read a book, and right off your shoulder is that amazing view. And talk about building the dream. I think even back here, if you wanted to do a pool, we could look at the survey, just make sure there aren't any easements or restrictions against it, but you could just extend that patio then if there are no restrictions build a pool right off of it and then just have a stairwell on the left side of the patio that still would go to a lot of yard space. And if you're having a tough time imagining what that would look like, I have a, a couple pool companies that I can recommend to you that build out a 3D rendering of what a pool would look like in your backyard. And I've had several clients build pools. I even have quite a few that are doing it right now that have amazing 3D rendering. So I can even send you some examples of that. Moving on, we are in the primary bathroom. I like that they have a freestanding tub on the right side that has a window that really lights up this bathroom. You got vanities on either side. And then we have two closets that we'll get to in a second. But I have to show you this huge walk-in shower. I love what they did here with this glossy tile on all walls running all the way up to the ceiling. They have that large shower seat on one side. And as you're seeing here with the rain shower head, and three different nozzles here. That's right, there are three shower heads in this walk-in shower. Incredible, you can have quite the shower in here, that's for sure. And as I walk through this home, I will say that if you're looking to build your home from scratch with any builder, this is a great home to model where you wanna put your money. And what I mean by that is when you go to a design studio with any builder, there are different upgrades that you can do above the, the standard that they provide. And what I mean by that is they're gonna provide you carpet and square tile as your flooring. They're gonna do like a base level granite as your countertop. And these are things that most people will upgrade and, and you should uh, because it will come back to you at resale. But I think the upgrades they chose in here were smart. They put a good amount of uh, upgrades in the kitchen as well as the bathrooms downstairs. They did a consistent flooring for the main living areas downstairs as well. And these design upgrades really complement the space that's here in this home. And I think you really feel that here in this closet, which is clearly massive. It wraps around in this L shape. And what's great about this primary bathroom and this bedroom is you even have a second closet on this side. 
Now I like that they kept the flooring consistent here. I think it would cut up the space if you did carpet in here as well. Some people do like carpet under their feet after they get off the shower, but I think for aesthetics, great to have that tile running through because it's right at the base of this bathroom. Now I also like these plantation shutters where if you're ever wondering what the weather looks like, you could just open those up a little bit, take a peek outside and then dress accordingly. Now, I really like this primary bathroom, especially that huge walk-in shower, but I wanna know what you think. So by the end of this video in the comments, tell me what your favorite part of this home was and tell me some of the things that you liked, maybe you didn't like. I wanna hear from you in the comments by the end of this. Now, while we're heading out of the primary bedroom, I do wanna open up this closet. I think closet space and storage is underrated. It's one of the biggest problems that I find buyers who are looking to move here have to deal with after they're closed on the home and they don't realize that it's such a big factor until they're moved in because there's nothing fun or exciting to talk about when we talk about storage, but I think it's necessary. So I like that they had storage space there. We're about to see another closet opposite of this dining room where you're gonna also see more storage space. Speaking of space, we just saw the dining room and what I love about this home in general is when you walk in through the front door, you can't actually see through into the dining room yet. You first see this wide open grand entrance with that curved staircase, but then you walk out a little bit more and then it opens up into that huge dining room. And then you walk out a little bit more and like we saw previously, the living room opened up to the second story and you can see out through those sliding glass doors into the beautiful backyard everywhere you walk in this home it just opens up and that's what i think the best part is as you just continue to go to these different spaces it just feels so open concept now that continues here in the second bedroom down which does have an in-suite full bathroom and then we'll see the utility room next and a study after this and then we'll head upstairs and i can't wait for you to see that game room with the cathedral style ceilings and some of the views that are just in the spare bedrooms upstairs now I did mention at the beginning of this video that this home that we're walking is very similar to a floor plan that Toll Brothers is currently offering at the time of this video getting posted, which is called the Thornhills plan. Now the difference between that Thornhills plan and the home that we're walking is really the second bedroom down. So this second bedroom down that we're seeing in this home is at the front right of the home when you're looking at the home from the street but the Thornhills plan has that second bedroom down in the back right of the home. So if you're looking at a lot that has a view and you really value that view off of that second bedroom down, that could be a plan that makes sense to build it from scratch. Uh, but for this home, I like that they have a second bedroom down in the front right of the home. It keeps it private from the other areas of the home, like the main living area, the primary bedroom, which is in the opposite corner of this first story. And I think it makes a lot of sense to have it here. Now the big difference with their new plan, uh, the Thornhills plan also is they have a three car garage. That's a three car tandem. So the three car tandem would be right around this location where you're only seeing a two car here. And that's because this home has a two car side entrance garage and then a separate one car carriage garage that we'll see through the study. Now you might recall when we were entering the home, the driveway had quite a bit of a slope to go up into this garage. And the good part about that is they have to create drop garages or some of these garages that have very tall ceilings. So if you want a lot of storage space, you do a lot in your garage, or you just want a big garage, sometimes that can be your advantage to having a little bit of topography in your lot. And then for that garage, I love the epoxy flooring that was in there. I actually just had three clients do that as soon as they closed on their home last month. And uh, I think it does make a big difference, especially with cleaning in your garage and also just the overall aesthetic. Now, I don't think I showed above the double front doors when we first walked in, there's this very cool half moon window and then a plant shelf up there that you could obviously put like a vase or some fake plants up there just to draw your eye upward as you get back to the front door. Now, left of the front door is this study. Now, I like the study's windows that look off the front of the home. Uh, we are in a cul-de-sac, and like I mentioned before, we're, we're built up uh, onto this lot. And so that gives you more of a view when looking out those windows. And I think that that's really important, especially in a study. If you're working from home a lot, it's nice to just look out your window and, and catch a view into the cul-de-sac of these beautiful homes and, and get a glimpse of the hill behind those homes. 
Now, there is a one car garage access through this study. Now, initially I thought this could be a little bit awkward, but when I thought it through, I don't think you're gonna be accessing that one car garage from your study too much. I think if you're gonna be accessing it, like maybe you're storing bicycles in there or something like that, you're probably gonna be accessing that one car garage from your driveway most of the time. And if you're gonna be exiting your home, you're gonna be doing it from your two car garage or your front door. And so I think it's fine in that location. But again, let me know what you think in the comments. Getting to the top of the stairwell here, I love the landing where you just have windows everywhere. You have that wide open game room that we're gonna get to in a couple minutes. You look down into the living room and then even behind me, just getting another glimpse of that front entrance. It is so open concept. And I think you really understand that when you get to the top of this stairwell. Now, usually I would start with the game room and then the media room, but I have to show you this amazing view that's just right here in the bedroom. Now I'm calling it a bedroom, but if you're in tech and I have a lot of people who are under contract or have recently closed with me where both uh, spouses are in tech and both work from home for that reason, I'm thinking you could put your desk right here in the center of the room and then you get a view off of both windows that are here, right from your computer desk. And I think this really builds a dream because you could either work from home here upstairs, or you could just easily turn this into a bedroom, put a bed in between both of these windows here, and then whoever's sleeping here has an amazing view that they can wake up to every single day. Now we do have a Jack and Jill full bathroom where you have closets accessible through the bathroom here. We're gonna walk through this bathroom to the next bedroom that looks off the front of the home and he even has its own balcony, which I think is so cool. While we head over there, I do wanna clarify something I said earlier in the video, which is I am a realtor here in Central Texas. I don't work for any builders. Instead, I represent buyers and help them navigate through the market and determine what their best options are. I give pros, I also give cons of areas, communities, builders, floor plans everything. I've done it a lot. I've represented buyers now with 19 different builders just in the last two years. Now, sometimes people reach out to me and their criteria just fits exactly what I cater to. For example, I just talked to somebody recently. They were looking for a great lot that had an amazing view off the backyard. And they, they quoted a lot that was in a community in Austin that I had 11 closings in just this year alone. So I knew that area really well. I knew the exact lot that they were talking about. And when they asked me, well, what other options are out there that are similar to that lot that have an amazing view? I already had videos saved in my Dropbox folder that I could share with them that were of me walking a concrete slab of a home under construction that had an amazing view, another lot that backed up to a golf course that had an amazing view. And I was able to share that information right away and consult with them because I knew their criteria inside and out. I've worked with it before, have great experience in that area, and I was by far the best realtor for them in my opinion. Now, while we go through this game room, I'll just finish by saying that if your criteria is different, it's not something I have a lot of experience in, I'll bring on one of my realtor partners to team up with me to work with you hand in hand, and I'll still be there on the back end helping you with videos and getting you footage of different lots that could make sense for you. So either way, reach out to me and I'll be upfront and honest with you on what I think the best strategy is to get into homes that you like that are on my channel. Now, I love this game room. I love that it opened up to the backyard. We have a great view into that backyard. This is gonna be that second stairwell that we'll head down after we see the rest of the second story. And again, I'll also take my drone up in the air over this home and show you some great visuals of this beautiful community, Treviso. Now we have a full bathroom that's accessible from the hallway here. You also have in-suite access to a bedroom that you're gonna see next. In this bathroom, I just wanna make sure I got the light on there. I think you can tell it makes a big difference. Believe it or not, some builders don't put that light up, light up there in the bathtub, which I think is really important, especially when you pull that bath curtain. Moving on, right outside of the bathroom is going to be this huge media room area. I love this media room because as you'll see with the white caps on the walls, they already have a lot of pre-wiring for speakers in here. You have this nook that you could do like a dry bar back here, or you could just keep that space open. But either way, there is a lot of room in here. I think you could do a couple rows of seating and really make this a theater room experience. Now, this is going to be one of the other differences between this home and the new Thornhills plan. So the Thornhills plan 
would have a media room on the right side of that game room. At least that's how they currently have this design. And as you'll see here, builders continue to change these plans over time and then just usually end up calling them different names as they make some big changes in the plan. Getting to the fifth bedroom here, the third bedroom upstairs, we have a very large walk-in closet. This bedroom, of course, is very private from the other areas of the home, like the other two bedrooms that we saw, or the game room. We still do have a window that has that view off the front of the home, which we've seen now a couple times in the bedrooms, as well as the study. I think that's fantastic. Now, it does also have some great ceiling height in here, which makes the space feel very open. And then like I mentioned earlier, this is gonna be that in-suite access to that full bathroom that we walked before we walked the media room. Now, as we get outside of this bedroom or even just outside the media room, notice how you can see right out through those game room windows. Now, I did a close up going up to that window so you can catch the hillside. Do you see that hillside in the back? That's something that I, I have so much difficulty capturing on video because when there's so much natural light coming in through the windows, it's hard to dim down the interior lighting to expose properly so you can see out the windows. And that's probably the biggest difference I hear from clients when they walk through these homes in person. They say, wow, I didn't realize that I could see that hillside in the back all the way from just exiting my media room. And that's why I love walking these homes, pointing those things out, but I also like getting shots like this. Now, I don't think I said it earlier, I love that white stucco look. It's very popular in this neighborhood. In fact, I have another client under contract who's doing that on a different plan. I think it looks beautiful, really gives you that Mediterranean look, and that's definitely gonna be the vibe of this community. Now, you see a lot of homes under construction in the back. That's where I do have a couple clients under contract in their newest section, which is located in the back of the neighborhood. Now, even though it's in the back of the neighborhood, I do believe they have a plan to connect to the main road that goes to the front entrance. So there'll be a front entrance and a back entrance. Now, as you'll see here, these hills just keep going and going and going. And there are parts of Austin that have beauty, but it's just kind of like one hillside. Here, it's very different. It's just like these rolling hills. Uh, you'll see there is a road that winds all the way up there in the back. That's gonna be the main road that's here. It's called Whitestone Boulevard. You might see it on a map called 1431. Basically, if you take that road all the way to the heart of Leander and the neighboring suburb Cedar Park, that's where you get a lot of your amenities like grocery stores, shopping, really anything that you can think of. And then there's another windy road all the way out there in the back that recently got connected where you can get closer into the heart of Leander. So some of those projects that I was telling you about that are getting built out here, like Leander North Line, that road will get you closer access to Leander North Line once that project gets fully built out. Now, I did want to hear from you in the comments. What were your thoughts on the home that we just walked through and what did you think was your favorite part of the home? I have to say my favorite part of the home had to be that backyard patio. That was quite the dream builder with those very tall ceilings and that view off the back left of the home. Absolutely amazing. But let me know what you thought. And as we curl back to the cul-de-sac that we were just in with the home that we just walked, I do want to give credit again to the listing agent, Dave Kapoor at All City Real Estate. Now, if you did love the home that we just walked, first off, reach out to me. My info's in the description of this video. Would be happy to help you with your real estate needs. And also, if you wanna see another floor plan with Toll Brothers built in this community with an amazing view, click on the thumbnail that's on your screen. You will absolutely love that plan. As always, hope this helps. Take care, everyone.